Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you everyone for watching and don't forget to like and sub subscribe. Um, so today joining us is Baby Jack. Say hi Baby Jack. Say hi Baby Jack. <laughs> Jack is five months old. So today's video is going to be on what to expect after um, you have your baby, after you're done being pregnant. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing is after you're done, after you have your baby, you're going to be really exhausted. So definitely try to take advantage of taking the naps when you can. Um, and just remember to rest. And it's hard just to you want to just bounce right back into the body that you had, um, but just remember it took nine months to, uh, you know, get that far. It's going to take you a little while to, to kind of bounce back and get your, get your body back the way it used to be. Um, when you first get home, um, if you're a first time mom, you're probably going to be a little overwhelmed. Um, definitely get the help if you're, you know, you have a partner, or significant other. Um, definitely take shifts. Um, you know, have your partner, uh, you know, stay up so you can take a nap and then kind of switch off. That really does help. Um, or if you're just by yourself, just make sure you know ask a family member, a friend, a relative, someone to come over and kind of um, give you a hand so you are able to take frequent naps and um, and try you know get your strength back and stuff um, another thing that people don't tell you um, is is that actually after three months your hair starts falling out <laughs> it sounds awful um, but I had like beautiful thick hair when I was pregnant and now it's just like falling everywhere like all over the place <laughs> um, but from what I've heard it does grow back which is a good thing um, and also the sleep thing too when the baby wakes up every you know two three hours it does get better um, if you're breastfeeding um, or nurse breastfeeding nursing same thing um, you're gonna be getting up a lot more you know because the dad or whoever if you have a partner is unable to feed the baby um, unless you're pumping. Um, if you're formula feeding, they do tend to sleep um, a little bit longer. I've noticed from other people that nurse to um, formula feeding. Um, so I guess that kind of all depends. Um, another hard decision that you're going to have to come up with is do I go back to work? Um, if you have decided to go back to work, um, you know, you have your daycare all set up, that's going to be a really hard transition. Um, but if you have to go back to work, it's completely understandable. I worked in three different daycare centers. Um, they do, depending, you know, do your research, so, on uh, the daycare centers. Um, go in, ask for a tour, ask for, you know, references and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a whole video of what to ask when you do a tour of a daycare center um, and the questions that you do definitely need to ask when doing those tours. Um, and I'm trying to think of like what else. Um, just take it easy. Um, you know, just remember that you know they're only they're only little like this for so long, and just have fun. And um, the different stages is so much fun and exciting. And definitely also look for mom groups at um, you know local libraries. We go to uh, we go to a singing group at our local library, and then we also go to a mom's group at a local um, hospital. And those are a lot of fun. And they always you know they're once a week for a couple hours. And, um, you know, they always have, if you have questions about teething, anything, they're there to answer them, which is great. Um, and I think that's all I have for the video right now. Um, but please, if you have any questions that I'm able to do some research on, um, that, you know, you have some insight about a couple different things, please comment. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and then watch my next video. Um, I'll talk to everyone later. Hope everyone has a great day. Bye. Say bye, baby Jack. Bye. <laughs>